we are trying to talk to the senators and to ask them to not let Netanyahu finish any job. The job that he has to finish is to get out of Gaza and let food and medical and water and shelter let Gaza leave. The senators should stand up and should talk to the American people and to everybody, to the whole world, and declare this is genocide. We, we disapprove it. We, we would do everything to stop Israel. Genocide isn't just a word that's bandied about. It, it, it's happening. And in the beginning, Israelis would say, okay, go over here. This is a safe zone. Well, it was just a trick to get a higher concentration of people and destroy them. And it happened time and time again, massacre after massacre. One of the images that has stuck with me, I don't know if it was an uncle or a father, but um, handing up, uh, holding up a, a child about two, two and a half years old. Beautiful, beautiful child, broad smile. He's holding her like that. You're looking at her from the front. There's not one limb that's the same size. All four limbs have been amputated at some point. That is a form of you know, like psychological genocide where you just demoralize the people with barbaric treatment. And we are the ones paying the tab. You know, it's the Palestinians who are suffering. But here we're, we're putting out $18 billion for more arms so we can bomb Beirut, go into Syria, it's never ending. We're here to thank the senators that boycotted Netanyahu's speech. We're grateful for that, but that's not sufficient. We need important next steps. We need senators to come out, call the genocide what it is, genocide, and to take action to stop sending weapons to Israel because all Israel will do with those weapons is to continue bombing innocent Palestinian people, to, um, to escalate the regional war that's going on now as we speak. So please, we are beseeching the senators who boycotted Netanyahu, please take further action. Please keep speaking out. Please call it a genocide. Please stop all arms to Israel.